Okay, here we have an example that says find the domain of this function. So this function is g of x equals the natural log of x minus 1. Okay, well, in order to be able to do this, you have to understand your properties of logs. There's just no getting around that. These are things that we have to sort of commit to memory. So we have to understand that the the normal domain uh, when we talked about our properties was 0 to infinity. Now that would be if I were talking about natural log of x or log of x, either one. This time though I've got the natural log of x minus 1. So remembering back to our translations or our transformations, what happened when you subtracted something inside with x? Well, that's where it moved things horizontally the opposite way. This is back from, you know, previous lessons. None of that goes away. It just continues to build. Putting this minus 1 inside with x moves things to the right one unit. Okay, well, let's think about this. If our normal, um, let me graph that out real quick. If our normal um, natural log of x did something like this and it had a domain of 0 to infinity and I were going to take that entire thing and scoot it over one unit, well now where I did have a asymptote on the y-axis, if I scoot that over now that's going to be one unit further uh, to the right. That's going to affect our domain, isn't it? So our domain for this function is going to now be, instead of 0 to infinity, it will be 1 to infinity. Now we could not have done that and reasoned that out so quickly without understanding the normal properties of the logs. These are things you just can't get away from. You're going to have to commit those uh, to memory. And if you need to review those, you can go back a few videos um, and watch those properties of logs. All right, another thing we need to talk about is how to use your calculator because uh, some of these things we're going to have to be doing on our calculator. The natural log of 5 over 3 is what we call an exact answer. It is exactly um, the precise answer. Anytime you round, then you're finding an approximate answer. But the, here they're asking us to round our answer to three decimal places. So we need to learn how to enter this in our calculator. So I'm going to have the natural log of 5 divided by 3. Now, um, a couple of things we want to note before we get started. What are we taking the natural log of? Only the 5. And then we're going to take that entire thing and divide it by the 3. That's important because we have to tell our calculator exactly how to approach this problem. Okay, let's go over to our calculator here. In order to put this in on our calculator, we have our two buttons here. If, it's, if we're dealing with LOG, we would use the log button. If we're dealing with LN, we would use this natural log button. So I have the natural log, and notice that it already put in a parenthesis for me. So now I have to type in the argument, which is 5, and now I have to close the parenthesis because that's all we're taking the log of, nothing else. So this will give me the natural log of 5, whatever that is, and then we're going to divide that by 3. You have to be very careful about, um, you know, put parentheses around your argument so that that's all you're taking the natural log of and then hit enter. Now rounded to three decimal places that would be 0.537 or 0.536 rather, I'm so sorry. 0.536, I was not looking at these two numbers here, I got confused. Uh, yeah, so if we were going to round to three decimal places here that would be 0.536.